Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing good. Before entering into today's video, make sure if you are serious about learning English, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. That motivates us to give you more videos. As well, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the latest updates from our channel. Let's start. Okay, let's get into the video. Today's topic is noun and its sites. What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. It denotes the name of a person, place or thing, an animal or bird, emotion or idea. Also, it means a word that identifies an animate or inanimate object, which means a word that identifies a living or non-living object. Look at the examples of noun. Okay. Hope you now understand what is a noun. Let's move to the types of noun. Here comes the types of noun. Common noun, proper noun, abstract noun, material noun, collective noun and the last one is concrete noun. Let's start with the common noun. What is a common noun? The title itself tells us the meaning. Yes, all common names of persons, animals, places and things belonging to the same kind, class or subject are known as common nouns. For example, women, bird, town, tree, animals and island. You know, common nouns can be classified into four genders. Let's see the classification of genders. Here you have this. Masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and the last one is neuter gender. Using exact common nouns in the description makes your sentences more clear and correct. Masculine and feminine gender. Look at this example and you will understand what is masculine gender and feminine gender. Examples Boy, cock and bull or the male gender. Girl, hen, cow or the female gender. Next it's common gender. Words that are of common gender do not indicate if a noun is male or female. Example, people, teacher, doctor, singer, etc. Nouns like student, teacher, doctor and singer are common to both male and female. These nouns do not indicate the gender. Hope this example helped you. Neuter gender Words that are of the neuter gender name, objects, and abstract nouns. Example book, table, chair, car, water, etc. Next comes the proper noun. A proper noun refers to a specific or a particular person, place, or animal. Proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Example Peter is my friend and he is a doctor. Here, the subject Peter is the proper noun. Using proper nouns in your description makes information more specific. Look at the examples given here. Mahatma Gandhi, India, Cinderella, Bible, America and Mount Everest. Look at the examples of common noun and proper noun. This will help you to understand the difference between common noun and proper noun. Common noun girl. On the other side, the names like Pradipa and Taslima are given as proper noun. The next common noun on the list is country. India, Australia, Africa are denoted as proper noun. The last common noun is book. And look at the other side, see languages and subjects like English, Tamil and science is said to be the proper noun. Hope this is useful to you. Let's move to abstract noun. An abstract noun is a word that names a quality, feeling, idea or condition of someone or something that cannot be touched. An abstract noun is uncountable. In simple, the words that refers to the things that aren't visible or physical. 
for example newton is a man of wisdom here the word wisdom is the abstract noun look at these examples anger joy strength wisdom love honesty all these nouns are not visible or physical okay let's see what is that countable and uncountable noun a countable noun has singular and plural forms and it can be written with a number see the examples an egg is a singular noun whereas two eggs is the plural noun here two denotes the number of eggs look at the next example a paper is a singular noun three papers is the plural noun here three denotes the number of papers okay then what is an uncountable noun an uncountable noun is a mass noun it cannot be written with a number before it example a glass of milk is all i need to feel energetic here a glass is a countable noun whereas milk is an uncountable noun next let's see the material noun a common noun that refers to a substance or a material is called a material noun here you have the examples for material noun clay steel gold wood cement milk cotton and etc what is a collective noun collective nouns refer to a group of people or collection of people animals places or items taken as a whole example vidura stayed away from the crowd here vidura is a proper noun crowd is a collective noun for example you can see that herd crowd bunch hive family team all these words are collective nouns the last one is concrete noun a concrete noun is a word that names a thing that can be seen touched smelled heard or tasted look at the example given below example i like rahman's music you can listen the music you can hear the music right so here the word music is a concrete noun and you can see few more examples music computer rain cloud stars and sunset so all these nouns can be seen heard or touched hope you find it useful thanks for watching our video like and share the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon to get the latest updates from our channel cheers guys stay tuned for the next video